What's up? All right, if you've all been watching, you saw me make pizza sauce, pizza dough. Well, now we're going to make a kind of pizza shop classic of calzone. All right, so you're going to take the pizza sauce we made. Big spoon. Usually you can use a ladle. Just down there, just like that. A lot of sauce. Okay, if you don't know what calzone is, it's basically a giant pizza puff. And no, not a hot pocket. Okay, so you got the sauce there. It does smell good still, huh? Mm-hmm. Just like that. You gotta leave the rim exposed for the finish. All right, now we're gonna take some pepperoni. You can add whatever you want. Put it under the cheese, because if you put it under the cheese, it stays moist. You know, it's not like one of those pre-bought store pizzas and while before you start this make sure you preheat your oven to 375 degrees just like that boom boom okay go and then you're gonna take Shredded mozzarella cheese. You're gonna put more sauce on. Hmm? You're gonna put more sauce on. I can if you want more sauce, that's fine. You don't have to. I can drizzle some more on there. And take some more oregano. Right there. Then by my loving wife's request, you can do this. A little bit more sauce on the top. Okay. It's a lot of bread. Huh? It's a lot of dough. It's a calzone. No, I know. It's called carb loading, babe. Yeah. Bodybuilders know all about this. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna fold it over just mm -hmm. like this. Now, if the dough happens to tear like it did just there, don't freak out. What you're gonna do is bring it to the corners. You're gonna pinch it. You're gonna pinch and fold. Kind of roll it. You know. So you want to seal everything inside the crust. See, I got the, the sauce that's trying to be all sneaky and seep out over here. So I got to do some kind of surgery here. And squeeze it all together. If anything oozes out, that's fine. It's no big deal. It's not like the end of the world. You just don't lose all your ingredients. Exactly. See, my wife knows what I'm trying to say before I even say it. That's marriage. <laughs> okay. It's all folded over. Looks like a someone with some stitches. Yeah, don't worry about the hole. Oh, I'm worried. I'm so worried about that hole. Yep. Okay. Alright, so now you have your calzone. What you're gonna do is take melted butter right there on top. Gonna spread it all over the crust. What this is gonna do. So add some good flavor because we all know everything's better with butter. <laughs> okay, you're smear it all over the dough, all over the crust. A little bit more. Okay, then you're going to take uh -oh, some garlic powder because garlic crust on the. Because everything's better with garlic. Yes, my wife had to undo the cap because I forgot to do it for her. Spread that around with the butter, just like that. A little more garlic powder. Now we're going to throw this in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to let it puff up, cook. That's probably going to ooze, but it is what it is. So, in the oven at 375. All right, finished product. Some of the cheese came out of where it was folded over. Use a knife to make some vents, obviously. I'm just in a rush because of family being here. But that's it. There's the finished product. You know, let it cool for a second. Slice it up and serve it. So please like, subscribe, comment. You know, and any ideas, let me know. Thanks for watching.